Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Today, I am a happy girl over here. I am happy to announce my dining room shelves are officially gone. Now, the, they were nice shelves, as many of you have seen in my previous videos. They just were not my style. But this beauty right here, this corner hutch that I picked up, off of Facebook Marketplace for $175 is exactly my style. The hutch just displays this rich, warm, distressed goodness feel. It was the arched front door though. That is what sold me on this piece. There is nothing like looking in at goodness through Pane windows. So, would you all like to come along with me for a garden tea party with Gertrude and friends? Well, if you would, that being said, let's begin, shall we? So, oh, what goodness we have here. I think Bev is really going to enjoy this piece. So opening the door, there are three different glass shelves. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to play with them as, you know, I'm decorating. I'm sure they're going to go to... Um, different heights, different you know, different levels, and then a nice storage underneath. Boy, I just, I'm always in need of storage here at the cottage. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is decorate this hutch up at the top, you know, throughout the seasons, but then store my everyday items down at the bottom. Just the perfect distressing all over this piece. You know, we still have our items to pick up from California and my television armoire for my bedroom is exactly the same style. So as you can see, I did lower a shelf. I knew I was going to for this display. And I have, I did share this piece previously in um, uh, my video. It is a cake stand that I purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. And I just placed it right in the center of the shelf. I thought silvers would look really nice inside this piece. And this silver vase here with the dried hydrangeas came from an antique store actually love the dried hydrangeas i added just a little bit of moss to it and here she is our sweet Gertrude. I absolutely love her. She decided she wanted to have a party. So I placed her up at top because I wanted the light to shine down on her. Because this display, this party, it was completely organized by her. I'm going to add in some moss and a nest that was purchased from New River Pottery. I'm actually going to just tuck it in right next to her. I couldn't put her on any shelf or tray because she would have been too tall. She wouldn't have, have been able to fit up on the top shelf. 
I just like, I love actually how the light just shines right down on her. Next, I'm going to place in this clock. I love the distressed silver tone on this piece, and it was purchased from Hobby Lobby. Just going to tuck it right in the back. Now the next piece I will be adding in is this nest and it was purchased from, let's see, from Michaels. I'm not going to dress it up with anything. Sometimes, sometimes less is more. <laughs> and I'm going to add this just fabulous whimsy filling teapot that was purchased from home goods and let's see yes 12.99 it has such a fun pattern to it i actually decorated with this piece during christmas as well and as you can see it's time to have a garden tea party. I'm going to use this little stand from Hobby Lobby on the left hand side. And with the teapot, there also were some, um, some teacups and saucers. There was a couple different varieties, so I thought to, to grab the both. I placed the larger one in back and smaller up front. And then we're just going to stack our teacups. It's just that simple. They're kind of heavy, actually. <laughs> Perfect. I'm loving the striping, the polka dots, the gold trim. It's just all coming together. And the hydrangeas, they're just, they're just timeless. So we're going to move back down here on the shelf. And as you can see, it, it's kind of dark down there. So we are about to lighten things up with a bit more whimsy. And this is the courtly check pattern from Mackenzie Childs. And this is a charger. Now I know she can be kind of pricey. So I go to Evine because if you go to Evine, you can actually get these on a payment plan, which makes, thing, makes it easier to bring them into your home. And as you can see, they are just fabulous to decorate with. I'm going to add this perfectly tarnished silver tray onto the shelf as well. And as you can see with the chargers, they are a check, but I like to twist them, you know, to give them the harlequin pattern. And this right here, when we had some, we were getting bushes and trees taken out of the yard and this nest came out. So we decided to save it. It's something how nature, they just can perfectly weave a home. Just love this piece right here. So I placed it on top of the silver tray and I'm going to add these little eggs uh, that I actually hand painted myself. And I do have a video, um, I'll link it at the end of how I created these. 
I just placed them inside the nest and put a glass cloche on top. Perfect setting. But just look at those chargers. Wow. I mean, they just really, really bring life into that dark space. And now we're going to brighten things up a little bit more with another stack of teacups and saucers. It's just going to be a grand garden party here at the cottage. And we have a couple little friends that are going to be visiting. They were purchased for, well, this one for $7.99 at TJ Maxx. And what a sweet fella here. He thought he would bring a fresh carrot from the little blue fly's garden. <laughs> $6.99 TJ Maxx. I just placed them underneath the hydrangeas. Now next, these cups, they're actually, they're antique, they're cordial cups, and they were purchased off of, what's it, it was either Facebook Marketplace or eBay, I don't remember, and I just placed in some moss and an egg that I have painted. And I added three of them up on the shelf. Just wanted a little extra touch of something special. Just to give just that much more visual interest, right? So now what to do with this space down at the bottom. So we have everything all fanciful, ready for the garden party. And down here, I think I just want to pull it back a little bit. I want to add a little something that I like to do when I am drinking my tea. So I'm going to add this wicker basket. I love the naturally aged look this piece offers and it was purchased from Bed Bath. So again, I'm just going to scale it back and put something in here that I love to do as as often as I can. And that is look through some of my favorite magazines. Just place them right inside the basket. It's as simple as that. It's important that I really make things functional here at the cottage. And now we're going to work ourselves up to the top and do a little bit of decorating there. I was happy to see that I was going to have some space up there. So we're going to start with this beautifully weaved hand basket that I purchased from Target. So I just tucked it off over to the side. It's looking kind of dark up there right now because it was the evening last night when I recorded this. And I'm going to add in this lush green wreath from Target. All that empty space right there, so much floral could be added inside there, but I'm just gonna keep it just simple, right like this for now. And I went ahead and just tucked it right inside of the basket. And again, I know I have mentioned it before, but I would like to mention it again. We don't always need to put wreaths on our panels or our doors or walls or underneath a decor item. Sometimes if we just simply place it inside a basket, it's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
So here we have Arthur Court. This is his fabulous rabbit platter. Just look at all of this, uh, all the feels of whimsy on this piece. Bunnies everywhere. Look, they're kissing. I just, I absolutely am in love with this new find. You can just go um, on eBay or Facebook Marketplace and just Google vintage Arthur Court rabbit platter. And there are quite a few still out there to be had. And it's totally reversible. You can even decorate with it on this side as well. Just a perfect piece. So I placed it up at top and I'm loving it. And I see I have a little bit more space to work with up there. So I'm going to add in some more greenery, of course. And I purchased this variegated ivy from New River Pottery. I'm really into the, the greens that are mixed with the yellows this year, just brighten things up. And I thought I might possibly be using these as well. Um, they were purchased from Michaels, but I did not. So I just vined out the ivy up on the top shelf. And look who we have here, Mr. Greystone. He thought that he would stop by for the garden tea party as well. I just tucked him right inside the ivy. And I'm going to be adding some of his favorite things. That's right, blackberries. So I just placed three stems in. They were purchased from Hobby Lobby. And Mr. Greystone absolutely loves blackberries with his afternoon tea. Him and Gertrude are going to be the best of friends. And see what I mean? Just looking through a paned window into goodness, it's, there's just nothing like it. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit of decorating on the walls. I'm still waiting for other pieces. This print was purchased from one of my favorite new shopping places, the Flower Gallery in Manassas, Virginia. And it just fits right in there perfectly, adding the perfect touch of whimsy. And then I have another for the other side. Garden Fresh Herbs. And I will be having many of those here at the cottage this year. So I placed it on the other side and it's just, everyone, this is just all really starting to come together. And I'm just, I'm so in love. I'm so in love with this room now in this corner. And yes, so now let's let the party begin. I believe in the morning when the sun comes shining through, I'm gonna enjoy this spot when I have my tea and I can look through my magazines. It's just perfect. <laughs> 